Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and have a look what is going on right now and what are the next targets because we already have met our target here of $18,200 so congratulations if you took this long. Currently I have closed my long position that I opened like I told you in my last couple of videos so probably i'm gonna open up a short position but i'm not pretty sure i still need a bit of more price data so let's wait and see what could be the next setup but currently it looks like that we could be in a potential little local top and we could see another little correction to the downside but before we start with the content a little reminder my friends we still have this special bonus going on over on Bybit and Femix if you still don't have an account over there where you can trade easily Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage because here even with small money you can do very nice gains and if you use my invitation links down below here you can get $90 for free on Bybit and $80 for free on Femex and currently if you put a deposit of 1.5 Bitcoin on one of those exchanges you can get up to $600 in bonus currently 600 on Femex and 500 over on Bybit and also I still have this 50% off in my own indicator so if you want to get the code or want to watch my live stream over on discord where you can get some nice buy and sell signals for bitcoin then definitely come and join our free discord trading chat and also contact me over there if you want to see and get my own indicator and one last thing my friends before we start with the content we still have this nice prime xpt feature going on here with this co-vesting option where you can just easily copy paste other traders so if you don't want to trade at your own or next to your own trading you want to use this option then make sure to open up an account over on prime xpt with my referral link down below here because here easily you can just copy trade other traders and as you can see some of them are very profitable and you can do even some more gains with this exclusive feature that Prime XPT is offering. And now my friends, let's start here with the content because currently in the one hour time frame, as I told you, we are meeting our target here of 18,200 right where the 200 moving average is lining up and also we had previous support which now could be acting as a new resistance. So what I think could happen right now is that we're gonna start another correction to the downside also because if we do a Fibonacci retracement based on the top that we had here at $19,500 and the bottom here of 16,200 you can see that we have a 0.618 fib line at $18,250 and this is exactly where currently we have topped out so it is possible that we're gonna bounce here up and down between 17,850 and 18,250 before we're gonna see continuation to the upside or we're gonna continue the correction to the downside which is very likely my opinion we not only got now a sell signal in the one hour time frame again but also we have a bearish divergence in the one hour time frame we have a lower high in the RSI and a higher high in the price and keep in mind that also the CME is closed at $16,925 so most likely we're gonna retrace back to this level on a Monday when the CMEs are starting to trade again so I think what we're seeing right now is this weekend playtime that we have usually during weekends when we see a nice little pump and then again a dump towards uh, the end of uh, Sunday so then we're gonna correct back down where we close the CMEs on Friday and this is what I'm expecting also here to happen during the weekend and if we go over into the four hour you can also see that currently the good thing is that we're trading again above all the moving averages we didn't lose here the 200 moving average at $16,200 but if we are getting rejected here again and we are not able to go again above $18,200 I'm pretty confident that we will see again a big crash towards the 200 moving average and there we're gonna have to see if we're able to bounce from it or we're gonna go below and therefore then I'm expecting a major correction potentially towards 15,000 even down towards $12,000 and also here in the RSI and in my own indicator you can see that currently we're again trading on the bullish side but as I told you my friends as soon as we're gonna get here a sell signal I think we most likely are coming down again towards $17,300 where the 20 moving average is lining up and then potentially even go lower towards where we close the CMEs on Friday so approximately at around 17 thousand 
dollar and if we go over into the bollinger bands you can see that currently we are right at the top so this is a potential local top here for the lower time frames and we could correct here again towards the two meter lines here between 17,700 and 17,300 dollar if we're gonna go below 17,300 and be prepared to have a complete retracement back down towards 16,300 dollar where previously we bottomed out and that's why I think my friends be very careful if you're going long range right now or if you're buying more Bitcoin of course for the long term is very bullish but if you are trading over on Bybit or Femix you have to be very careful right now because I think we could be in a bigger correction and what we are seeing right now is just a little bounce a little breather before we're gonna correct even more and now we can go over into the daily time frame because currently the good thing is that we are now trading above the 20 daily moving average but as you can see the previous support here the nine day moving average is now acting as a resistance so if we cannot close again a daily candle above eighteen thousand two hundred dollar i think we're gonna stay between the nine day and 20 daily moving average here at seventeen thousand four hundred fifty dollars before we continue here the correction potentially down first towards here the 50 daily moving average at fifteen thousand dollar and then maybe even fall lower here towards the 100 or 200 daily moving average here at around $12,000. We also got the sell signal here, which currently is playing out. We bounced from the 50 level, which is good here in the RSI. But since we were so much overbought and overextended, I think if we are not able to close now daily candles again above the nine day moving average, we could be seeing a major correction here to the downside, at least towards 15,000 before we gearing up for the next big move to the upside. Because keep in mind, if we are starting a major correction, we could even fall down towards the 20 weekly moving average, currently at $12,500. Tomorrow, we're also going to have to see where the 20 weekly moving average will be, because the more times passes, the higher this moving average is coming. And that's why tomorrow we have to get an update here on the 20 weekly moving average. In my own indicator, you also can see that we are quite overbought. Even the RSI is still in red here. So that's why if we're going to see a major correction, then watch out here for the 20 weekly moving average and now we can also have a look into the weekly time frame here in the Bollinger Bands because you can see that currently we are still overshooting it to the upside so even though we had this little dump we are still trading above the Bollinger Bands and that's why I think the correction is still not ended here so I still believe that if we're gonna see continuation to the downside we most likely gonna retest here these 15,000 down to $12,500 area before we having the next big parabolic run to the upside which then also also will create new all-time highs. So I think the next coming week will be very interesting to see what Bitcoin is doing because it could be a very decisive week if we're gonna start a major correction or we're just gonna ignore all the bearish signs and we're just gonna create a new all-time high and push towards $30,000. That of course is also possible so that's why I think the next one or two weeks will be very important to see where we could be heading to next. But if you're just buying and hodling then of course this doesn't matter matter because for the long term Bitcoin is looking very bullish and we are expecting new all-time highs very soon but if you're trading with leverage these swings when we go up and down then of course you have to look also into the lower time frames and also in these possible corrections because like this you can do even gains when we are falling and with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel you are also very welcome to join me over in my discord trading chat we have a great community over there and of course check out all the links that you find down below here because with my invitation links especially this one over on Swissborg and Coinbase you can get a lot of free money and altcoins so you can buy even more Bitcoin so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye